So this video is a little different from my other videos. In this video, I'm showing you how I usually make a cake. Uh, of course, I'm not going to show any recipes or the measurements because this is my recipe and no one else is to have. So yeah, enjoy. So first what you want to do is you want to button up your shirt so no one can see your chest. Okay? And then you're going to want to put on your apron. Then, you want to put on your chef hat because you are a dignified, certified chef. Then you take back off your apron and you also unbutton your shirt because, you know, no one wants to have that. That's annoying. You also take off your chef hat because it hurts your head. And you really don't care about it. Water, oatmeal, butter, brown sugar, white sugar, eggs, vanilla extract, flour, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg were the ingredients used to make the perfect oatmeal cake, but Professor Austin accidentally spilt in a little chemical X, or in this case, cinnamon extract. You don't have to put this inside here, I just like it for extra flavor. So you just want to throw the whole entire stick of butter inside there, and throw the wrap on the ground, because you don't care. So while you got your butter mixing inside the mixer, you want to get your white sugar and your brown sugar. And you want to measure out your brown sugar, and then you want to measure out your white sugar, put it all in a bowl, and then later transfer it inside of the mixing. So, you know, you want to add it to your mixer and go ahead and get it mixing. Uh, turn it up on the speed it needs to be and get it mixing. I also forgot to mention you need to put water inside there to get it boiling for the oatmeal. And, uh, oh, look, it's me in the reflection. Hi. So once it's done, you're going to want to forget that it's hot. Touch on the hot part and then realize it's hot. Put it on the not hot part. And then put your oatmeal inside there. And you want to mix it inside there, make sure it's all nice and mixed to make sure it gets a good, even mix. And it's, you know, it's all wet to prevent any clumps inside of the cake. So once your butter and sugar are done, it's time for the eggs. So you want to add in your first egg. And before you add in your second egg, you want to let Jasper back inside. Come on, Jasper. Come on. Add your second egg and add your third final egg. And while you let those flavors get to know each other, you want to measure out all your flour inside your sifter. You want to mix your cinnamon, your salt, your nutmeg, and your baking soda all inside the sifter. Bad transition, another bad transition, and then once it's all sifted, you bring it over to the mixer and you get a spoon and start transitioning it inside the mixer. But before you put it all inside there, put your vanilla extract inside there and put your uh, chemical X inside the mixer too. And then you proceed to put the rest of the flour, dry ingredients inside there, struggle to, and then just say I'm dumping the whole entire thing inside there because you, you just got annoyed. Right now it looks more like cookie dough, but that's because I haven't put in the oatmeal yet. But before you do that, Jasper said he wanted to be inside the video. So here's Jasper's little time to shine, but uh, I'm petting him. But he's not supposed to be on the couch, so I put him off very nicely and politely. So once you put in your oatmeal, it should look something like this. More like cake batter. But before I get ready for the cake pan, I have to use my magical powers to get rid of this mess. But, just kidding. Uh, I had to clean, clean it up, and here's a little time lapse of me cleaning up my mess. Now moving on to preparing the cake pan. So, I get my cake pan, and I have to get the cooking spray, the non-stick one, and then I go and get the flour. What you need to do for this is you need to give the cake pan a good spray and then get like, I don't know, half a handful of flour and just yeet it inside there. I have to make sure that all the sides are coated with the flour and I repeat this process one or two more times to make sure that the cake comes out nice and cleanly. Once the cake batter is done mixing, you want to preheat, preheat the oven and make sure that there's something inside the oven because that's just a bad mistake. Preheat for 350 degrees, and while that's waiting to preheat, you want to take out the little stirring thing and transfer all your batter into your cake pan. Get a little spatula, clean it all out, make sure you get all of it, because that's like a whole entire half cup of dough left that you don't want to waste. Make sure it's all nice and cleaned out, put it inside the sink to wash for later, because you don't waste in this house. 
And now look at the cake. Look how pretty it is. Almost as pretty as you. So while I wait to put it inside the oven, I now have to clean up the mess that I made because I'm very nice. You gotta make sure you clean up the kitchen after yourself. All right, also stay dirty forever. And here's a little time lapse of me doing that. Okay, it took a long while. As you can see, I'm so stressed out in this video. It took very much hours of work to clean up this kitchen. I mean, honestly, look at that labor that I'm doing. It's, it's so, it's so stressful, so stressful. But after my many treacherous hours of labor and work, I finally got the kitchen done. But I'll do the dishes later. So, what I like doing before I put cakes in the oven is I get rid of the holes and air bubbles with a fork on the top to prevent it exploding inside of the oven. So it's not reheating, nothing inside the oven. I take it with my bare hand, look at it, and I just uh, slide that bad boy inside there, uh, tell a little prayer, tell it have a good night's rest, I close it, and I wait around 30 minutes to check on it. And then I come back to it and check on it. It's been around 45 minutes, maybe an hour, yeah, an hour, and I accidentally poked it with the thing to make sure if it's ready or not, and when I poked it, it fell through, and I hate that, because it was so big and fluffy, it looked so perfect, but I ruined it. But anyway, cake's done, looks very nice, and hope you enjoyed this video. Alright, it's something a little out of the ordinary, but I did like making this, I, mean, I especially like the part of me dancing through working. So, yeah. Thank you. Like and subscribe. If you, one of my teachers watching this, hi. One of my friends, hi. If someone I told you to watch this because I have a YouTube channel, then hi. And basically that's it. Bye.